Hey guys, um, all right, so this video is for example four in your 5.1 notes. Let's read the directions, okay? Show that, show that F composed with G of X is exactly the same of, as G composed with F of X, which they both come out to be X, okay? So we are going to separate these two. Show that meaning that now we're writing proofs, okay? Anytime that you're writing proofs, you have to be very neat and be very clear. You have to do two compositions here, and both compositions have to equal to x. So let's do the first composition over here, f of g of x, okay? Then we will do the second composition over here, g of f of x, okay? Now, this is um, our very first proof in, in pre-cal. Second semester, we will have a lot more of these. Now, in writing proofs, you have to number your steps so I can see clearly, um, you know, how did you get step two? What did you do in step one to so get to step two? And you cannot do anything in your head, okay? So, show all work. Okay, because when you're writing proofs, that's the work is the answer, okay? I'm really not interested in the final answer when it says show that or prove this. Um, you have to show all those steps, okay? That means work means steps, okay? All right, so step one, by definition, f of g of x is identical to f composed of g of x. Two, f of g of x is this piece over here, so I'm going to write negative 1 over 2 times x minus 1, close that up. And do not do two steps on one, just write every single thing out. Step number three, every time I see an x in f, I will now have to put this in. I see a negative 2, that is not an x, I see an x, I'm going to give myself a set of parentheses, bring down the 1. Since there's only one x, I will write negative 1 over 2, times the quantity of x minus 1, close that quantity. Then from here, we can simplify this out to negative 2 times a negative 1. It's a positive 1, okay? And bring everything else down. Do not try to do multiple things when you're writing proofs. Step number 5. Well, I can distribute the 1, which is exactly the same thing. Step number six, these two are canceling out, so I do have an x, and this is what we want, okay? And we're going to try to do another one over here. So step one, by definition, this is g of f of x. Step two, g of f is now this piece over here, which is negative 2x plus 1. Step three, I'm using g is my outer component. There is a negative 1 half, okay, that's not an x. Now I see an x, and I see a negative 1. So I'm going to fill in this x right here with my input. So that x is a negative 2 plus 1. Okay, well step number 4, I'm going to try to simplify. When you're simplifying, you're doing the inner of the parentheses first. So negative 1 and a positive 1, you are going to cancel those. And no, I do not want you to do all of the cancellations on one step. Just do one thing at a time. Step number five, a negative one-half times a negative two is a positive one x, which is identical to x. And this is what we also want. So because, I'm going to erase this extra line here. Because both compositions equal to x, we can write, therefore, okay, this three dot means therefore. Therefore, f of g of x is the same as g of f of x, which they are both exactly the same as x, and boxes up. So your answer are all of this, okay? Not just this thing box, but all of the steps here and all the steps on the left, okay? So make sure we write every single thing down. All right, let's try it again on double eyes. So over here, we will do 
f compose with g of x and over here we will do g compose with f of x okay so step one i'm going to set this up for you but then i'm going to ask you to finish it up okay f of g of x is by definition step two okay f of g of x in this case is x plus four um, and then i would like for you to finish it up okay on your own keep on going and then I will continue with this as well for you. I'll start with this. F of, I'm sorry, G of F of X is by definition. Step two, G of F of X in this case is X minus four. Step three, I'll go a little bit further on this one. Step three, every time I see an X in G, I will give it a little blank space. Okay, I'm gonna bring down the four. Well, that blank space, it now gets an X minus four. Okay, and then go ahead and finish it up. Don't forget to write your final statement, okay? Well, once you finish up all of double I's, and please do finish up all of your double I's, um, then we are now done with 5.1 notes.